Hi guys, it's Cal from Dirty Weasel, and I'm sitting here drinking my morning coffee, and I wanted to talk briefly about Mod Game 2015. You know, on the 23rd, Valve Corp through Steam and Bethesda announced that they would be having paid modding on their site, on the Steam Workshop. And I started to just kind of hold back my opinion on it because on the previous night, on a uh, Gopher video, I commented about what I thought would happen. And one of the things I predicted was there'd be a great gnashing of teeth and wailing, you know, regarding this change. And, you know, but overall, I felt that modders should be paid for their efforts and should be paid for their hard work. But, you know, I, I had questions about implementation. I had questions about where it would lead in the future. And I really didn't like the thought that Valve and, and Bethesda would be you know, making the lion's share of money for this. And it really kind of disappointed me as I watched things unfold. I held my, you know, opinions back and, and just wanted to see how things played out. And, you know, here we are, you know, it is now April 28th. And yesterday, while I was sitting in my lawyer's office, um, everything kind of fell apart. The Steam Workshop is no longer having paid modding. Valve and Bethesda have made announcements that they will be discontinuing this effort and you know one of the things that i i read the announcements and looking at the steam workshop you know posting that they're going to be removing the payment feature from the skyrim workshop uh and that they'd be you know refunding all the money that's all well and good but you know reading this it, it really didn't say that they were sorry for it it just says that you know they're sorry that it worked out so poorly you know one of the things that from talking to people and seeing how this played out. They did this under the cover of night. They kind of worked behind doors and behind the scenes to make this happen. They had people that they approached about, you know, making mods for the, you know, the rollout of this. You know, they put them under, you know, non-disclosure agreements and then just kind of dumped it on us. They they put a, you know, a live hand grenade into the modding community that's been supporting Bethesda and Bethesda again for so long and then just expect there to be no out no backlash you know I was really you know disappointed that it, it turned out the way it did and not so much that it it's gone because I'm glad it's gone I think that you know the reimbursement rates for you know modders is way too low I didn't like the way it was implemented it seems like Valve and Bethesda just said here kiss my ring and we're going to take the vast majority of the money and it seemed like it was just open for piracy and people stealing mods and using, you know, assets from other mods without any type of safety mechanism to prevent the the piracy and, you know, unauthorized use of other people's work. And, you know, I'm reading the Bethesda blog about this and you know, it says, you know, they've updated it. And after discussion with Valve and listening to our community, paid mods are being removed from Steam Workshop. Well, that's, that's great. Even though we had the best intentions, the feedback has been clear. This is not a feature you want. Your support means everything to us, and we hear you. I would hope they have that that position. It, if you look at the numbers for games that you know produced by Bethesda, Skyrim is still right up there at the top. It's it's still one of the most downloaded and paid for mods or paid for games on Steam. It is. And they may say that only eight percent of Skyrim audience has ever used a mod. I think it's a lot. I think it's a lot higher than that. I don't think they have a real clue about who's using mods out there. I think it's a lot higher than what they say it is. But it's gone. And you know, do I think that modders should be compensated for their hard work? Yeah, I think they should be. I think that uh, the donation system on the Nexus is a little weak, and I hope that. Uh, Dark One is addressing that and that they will be implementing stronger donation features and abilities to get more modders, more money from those willing to pay it. And I, I will admit freely, this is you know probably something I never thought about before this happened, is that I've never donated money to any modder. Never have. And, you know, looking back on it, I think that was probably an oversight on my part. And partially, I just never really thought about it before. But it needs to be part of our consciousness now. And I have an announcement coming forward about uh, where Dirty Weasel Media will be going. And I'll 
you know, once things are finalized, I'll be going through that. But, you know, I, I encourage everyone to donate to their favorite modders to kind of make it worth their while to create these great mods. And, you know, Valve and Bethesda have learned a valuable lesson about why, you know, you don't drop things on a community that is established and, you know, it's been working very well and to their combined benefit. How much money have they made off of a game that's been, you know, almost four years old, three, three and a half years old, whatever it is. They've made a lot of money off of Skyrim. They've made a lot of mo money off of Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3. And it continues to be sellers for them. Would that have happened without the modding community? Probably not. I mean, it would probably go the way of other games that didn't have the modding support and the support of the community in the form of modifications to their games that would generate sales. And that's what it is. We're creating, or I should say, the modders are creating content so that the games will continue to sell and continue to be popular. So that they hopefully will learn a valuable lesson. But what will that lesson go? Uh, I don't think we've seen the end of paid modding. I think that Valve is going to step back and reassess it and probably learn from their mistakes and reintroduce it down the road. Bethesda probably is still looking at it as for Fallout 4. It's coming, and I think that this was a, a trial balloon thrown up to try to, you know, get things ready for Fallout 4 and to try and tap into that money stream. What really disturbed me, and this is getting on to the next topic, community backlash against individuals. There was a lot of, you know, things said about Valve and Bethesda, I think, that were rightfully said that the reimbursement rate towards the modders was way too low, that they did this under the cover of night and just kind of dropped it on us with no community input. And those are valid, very valid criticisms. What I didn't appreciate and what saddened me the most about this community was how we treated individual modders. Um, for full disclosure, I was working on an interview with Chesco prior to this announcement, and he wanted to hold off until this week and now i you know obviously in hindsight we look back and now we know why he knew this was coming and he knew that we would be having a you know set of topics of things to discuss watching the reaction to chesco's decision amongst the community was disheartening it was appalling and it made me sick for a community that said they were you know welcoming and you know, how they supported the modders to see the backlash and it just it just infuriated me to no end and how chesco was treated is just not right you know and it bothered me a lot i just want to use this as an example i put up a post prior to all this happening where i was getting ready to do the interview with chesco you know i asked for questions for the community and i just received a reply this morning that was on that post. Obviously, it was posted before this event. And the comment was basically from Pierre Estes Uni, why are you such a money-grubbing piece of Shiite? That epitomizes my disgust. The Here's this person who thinks they know better, who is basically obviously mad that somebody's trying to make a work, trying to make a buck off of their intellectual property. Chesco puts a lot of effort into his mods and he deserves to be compensated if he wishes to be compensated. That's how it is. We all make decisions based off of our own self-interest and I will never, ever condemn someone for trying to put, you know, food on the place of their family. We'll never do it. You know, we all have, you know, things we try to do to make money in this life, whether it's a career, whether it's, you know, doing creative things like painting or writing or making music, you know, just because a product was offered for free before doesn't mean that any future products should be free. Just because someone wants them to be free. And it just it just kills me. That's what I'm talking about. You know, the amount of hate and vitriol that was directed at Chesco uh, is completely unwarranted. You know, even threats of violence. And that, and that infuriated me to no end. But, you know, hopefully, you know, we as a community will overcome this and... You know, trying there will be some healing of wounds, hopefully, and some building of old bridges that were burned in this process. You know, I, I look at it as collateral damage. Did Valve and Bethesda learn a valuable lesson? Yes. 
did we as a community learn a valuable lesson? Yes. There's a lot of a lot of hate out there if people don't get what they think they're entitled to. And it's the entitlement mentality. And it just it bothers me. But have we seen the end of paid modding? Probably not. I think it's coming back. I think it's just a matter of time. I think that Steam is going to take a step back, reassess, and try and come up with a new way of doing this. And we're not going to see the end of it. We're just not. It's going to happen again. And how we, you know, deal with that is going to be a major question. You know, I encourage everyone to to support their favorite modders, to donate, and to give money to them, to, you know, thank them for their efforts. You know, I, I have an announcement coming. It will be coming soon. Um, but I've been, you know, working on a few things to try and make Dirty Weasel Media a more giving entity and try and, you know, work out so that, you know, I will be promoting the idea of donations and try and work with the community to come up with ideas to, to make things better. So, that's it. You know, hang in there, guys. I know it's been a tough week for all of us. I think that uh, how we move forward will be a good indication of the community itself, but uh, that's it for now. Stay strong, guys. This is Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel, and I'm signing off. <laughs>